Hello guys, Tivik here and welcome to XCOM Enemy Within Long War. I know that a few guys uh, have asked me to start up an XCOM series again and I figured why not. Um, so, Long War. Long War is a total overhaul of the uh, whole game, really. There are so many new things that I can't even start, but let's just say eight classes instead of four. We have Assault, Infantry, Rocketeer, Gunner, Sniper, Scout, Medic, Engineer, and they are very different in what they get. Also, on each level, you get three choices. I think the original was two, wasn't it? Um, and the game is mm, hard. Let's just say that. There are some really nasties out there. Uh, we're gonna play on normal because classic is very very um, Painful brutal uh, No, I'm gonna go for normal. We recommend you play normal difficulty first. Yes, I'm gonna reduce the beginner VO I think I will remove these two um, Because I don't like the slingshot the progeny was cool but I don't think that will be where I go um, in Long War. Um, I don't think so, because these missions are usually very difficult. <laughs> but we're gonna reduce that one. We're not gonna do any second wave stuff. So let's just start the game. So do we wanna see the intro? Those who play with the devil's toys will be brought by degrees to wield his sword. Okay. That was Buckminster Fuller who said that. So, we've seen this part, aliens attack, they do it by firing random things that spew green goo out and kill humans and chrysalids come and, uh, and feast on every living thing that is still moving. If it's not moving, well, they will just feast on it anyway because it smells good. Pretty sure it will. So. Um, if you want a soldier in this um, uh, in this series, do let me know. Uh, just post a comment, um, and uh, I will try to give it to you. I will probably not give you any specifics. Um, you can voice your preference, but uh, probably not gonna get any specific because there are a lot of soldiers that are gonna be out and. Uh, there's always the risk that I will lose your soldier, and that wouldn't be fun. But depending on the amount of soldiers I get in the list, I will probably make it so that um, um, so that people are resurrected, so to say. Hello, Commander. Hello, Commander. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion. This Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative. Okay. To oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. Oh. To we urge you to be. keep that in mind as you <laughs> proceed. Not to be negative or anything, but are you sure you picked the right commander for this? I am not at all very... Good luck, commander. Yeah, I'm gonna need it. I'm not very experienced with XCOM. A few of you guys saw my previous fails. Um, so this series, we will be... Um, I'm gonna go with Europe. I'm gonna go with Europe. Uh, this series, I'm going to be playing... Uh, one episode per mission. If it's a really long mission, I will probably split it up. Uh, and there might be base keeping and stuff like that in between, or uneventful parts. But I don't think so, because the amount of enemies and missions are going to go up a lot. But I will play everything on camera for you guys. Um, and if I get wiped out, which might happen, I will probably restart. So I <laughs> consider this um, round one fight. The next deployment site is in the UK. Okay, we're going to Glasgow. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity so, in a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate cover. the hostiles. 
let's just start with cover. Cover is oh so important. You're gonna need to be careful that you don't um, run out, get shot. And low cover is not good cover. But hunker down in low cover is better than uh, standing in high cover, as far as I understand. Okay, so we have our brave group here. They are uh, six of them. Okay, so this is a bit of an interesting starting area. Okay, just gonna survey this area. We are probably not gonna be attacked from there, <clears throat> I hope. Here's also one thing. We're gonna be careful. We don't want to pop multiple pods of enemies. That's very, very important. So I'm going to go up to there with Mbata. And Valverde can go up there. Um, Savidra, you can go there. He's just looking over there to make sure that we don't get attacked from that side. Um, aye, aye, Commander. Flanking is also very painful. I'd rather not dash with anyone on the first turn, but uh, we're gonna have to do And Overwatch. So, what do we have? That's Sectoids. I hope the sound volume is alright. Didn't actually get any idea from where. It's a fairly large map. Hmm. Okay. So, considering that we don't see them here, that's good. I'm gonna get you up to the window. Oh, that one moved. I'm gonna show you a feature that I really, really like with this. You can press F F2 to get a top side view of things. And then you have F3 and 4 and 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 to change the perspective. Cool. That's our... Ah, interesting. Okay, so we do have an exit zone in case things go wrong. And believe me, they can. Real quick. Um, so he's checking that area. I'm on the move. You should move over. I want you to stay. You can move up to that point there. I want two on that door. And you can move up. I don't think they have grenades on the first, so let's overwatch. Okay, so they're in that direction. And there's meld in that direction. I'm not gonna bother with that, actually. Uh, we have good chances to get more of that. Okay, in case they do... Attack. What chances do we have? What can I do? Uh, these guys can move in. Um, ah, decisions. Don't want to move him up there. He can retreat. If he spots them. Or her. That's low cover. Not from that side, though. So that's going to be uh, sort of like a good thing for the aliens if they get to that first. I would kind of like to go in. So you are going there. You are going there. And you are going there. Open that door. Do we see them? No. That's very good news. That's very, very good news. So in case they are on this side, I can actually move in with my soldiers and get a good flanking position. Hopefully without triggering more pods. That's also something you kind of have to be very, very careful about. So, who didn't move now? You didn't move, but I think you're in a good position, so... Overwatching. Okay. So, what do we know? We have 
melt over there and melt over here. I'm not gonna bother with the melt in this, I think. Cause... Dangerous stuff. I would like to get up on top of the roof here, but low cover is not something I like. I'll go forward and see if I can... You go forward to that window. Okay, we have eyes on the target. Okay, so that's a uh, two pod of sectoids and one little drone. They're very stupid, so we should be fine. The drones, that is. The sectoids, however, they can be a bit nasty. So he will fall back. And you will fall back. Um, our aim is going to be horrendous. You will go there. No targets, okay. You will go there. Uh, you will stay. Overwatch. Let them come to us. Until we get better weapons and uh, armor, most of all, we're gonna have to be careful. Well, not bad a shot, but you should have waited a bit. Oh, he's gonna shoot. No, he's moving forward, and uh, that means that Private Ryan... Oh, nice. Bye-bye. Very nice shot indeed. I'm not gonna break my neck over trying to get that, because that's gonna be very dangerous. Um... Um... These guys are kind of far back. I want to go here and see if I can get eyes on them. He's gonna hunker down though. They're down here. I'd like to dash him over there, just to get better vision. Let's do it. Oh shoot, they are in uh, Overwatch. But, the thankfully, they're not good shots either. Whew. And now we have one flanked. But these guys can't see and shoot, so... That's not gonna help me. Don't wanna go too far to that side, because we run the risk of triggering another pod. He'll go out. These guys have flashbangs as well, so they could be very useful. Absolutely zero cover out here. Okay, so Overwatch. Oh no. We have flankers. So he needs to get out of there. Okay, so they got one move and they got the free moves. Okay! Move. Things just got more serious. No way that just happened. He's gonna shoot. Oh, he's suppressing him. Oh no. Can we flashbang that guy? They're suppressing him as well. Okay, now a question. Yes, these guys can see. He is not suppressed. If he goes there, he should have a pretty good shot. And he uh, will at the same time be protected from that side. Okay. 63. Oh no. That was a bad, bad, bad move. He's only got 6%. Can we grenade that guy? No, because we don't have any range when suppressed. And of course he can't reach with grenades. On my way. 
We're gonna have to try and get a bit of an angle on them. Will this stop him from uh, suppression? Well, it killed him, so that's good. That means that this guy should be... Well, he's still suppressed. We can't be joking around with this. He is still flanked, but him not being suppressed means I can get a good shot at this guy. And there's no I need that. Oh, that sucks. Where are the other aliens? That guy is gonna shoot at my guy. And I can't flashbang him. Let's try take a shot. Well, that wasn't really a good shot, so. Hmm. I'm on it, Commander. Things are going downhill quickly now. They usually do. Negative damage. Now that he's no longer suppressed, we can retreat him here. But that means this guy is gonna get the shot. Uh, I can get him into that cover there. He's got a 56% chance to hit. Don't want to risk it. I will. Oh no. Adjusting sights. Oh well. Here's the verdict for my poor planning and they're gonna meld with that guy which means that he gets plus something to aim and I don't know how much oh well he's not dead oh no not panicking well the next one to get hit ow oh he resisted panic that's good but he's wounded so he's gonna be out but he is flanked so, oh, that's lucky. Okay, how many rounds do we have? He's panicked. No, he's not panicked. He's got the med kit as well. Um, okay, and we have... Okay, let's take a look here. I can go there and uh, shoot him. I probably should. Go die. And I will stabilize that guy in the next. You really need to reload. You are still alive and that's amazing. Um, you go there. And you go there. Really low chance to hit, so you should steady aim. I need you up on the front lines. What are you doing all the way back there? Um, he he should. Probably be no. Let's Overwatch. You should reload, and that's it. Okay. They melded with someone back there, and uh, Overwatch and Overwatch. That's good, actually. Though I can't get to him now. Um, I would like to get a flashbang over there, but range is an issue. Uh, 
that probably shouldn't trigger. But it will. Hmm. That probably won't. I'm on it, Commander. Good. Oh no, not another pack. <sighs> Can you get the flashbang through to them? Yes. They're disoriented. You need to go here. And Oh. Good Reload job. them. That guy could quickly become a problem. I need you guys to overwatch. Did we lose someone? Feels like it. Well, one is down. Hmm. Okay, so they're melding with these guys. Okay. Um, I'm a bit worried about our situation right now. But... He's gonna shoot. They're trying to really get her down. Mind fray fail. That's very good. Okay. One turn. You need to go there. And. Why can't I. Oh, I need to stabilize. Could I do that the last turn? You need to go to there and chuck a grenade at them or something. 48, 40, 39, 21. That should hurt. Batter up. Okay, so that's one less to worry about. Okay, do I have any sort of high cover out here? No. But getting him there should give me a flank. Position confirmed. Yes. Good. Did he take damage as well? Yes, he did. Okay, so we're turning this around. I need you to get closer. I need you to get out of the way. I'm rolling. What's the chance to hit on that guy? Not very good. Okay, they're melding, so they're still confident. They lost two aliens in the last round here. Mm. He's gonna try shooting. Oh, he panicked. At least they hunker down and not... And they don't start to shoot wildly. That's... It's a bonus. They don't have any overwatch, do they? No. Um... Okay... Just 18%. He needs to move up, though. Rolling. I need him up here to be closer for higher chance to hit. 33%. Take the shot. Nope. Missed. Negative damage. The 
We probably need to take that guy out. I don't like to waste... Uh... Uh... Also, we could go there to get better cover. Copy that. And... Overwatch. You can throw this grenade and I can't get it to... Land so both are hit, can I? Yes, I can. So that one is dead. There's another one there. He's in Overwatch as well. Twenty-six percent chance that's not gonna happen. I can't flash him, so overwatch it is. Oh, this is a bit rough. It doesn't matter what I do to that one until I kill the guy melding, which is a commander, I think, or a leader of some sort. Oh, that's Ryan. Oh, we're panicking. Panic is bad, but... So he's down. He's hunkering down, which gives him a lot of extra defense. It's just this guy now. And this guy. Or gal. I don't think I can go there. And still get a good shot off, can I? Got it. We'll try. 48. You missed at 48. Oh, uh, we don't have any overwatches. Already I need you in there. He's dead now. What? Yeah, he's in half cover, so they're gonna lay all the fire on that guy now. That's bad. They're moving to flank me. But he reloaded. They are reloading. Well then. Just wanted to let you know, guy. Or alien or thing that this is revenge for Ryan. know why I took that shot. This should give me a flank. Okay, that's one less alien. I need you up here real quick. So we lost Ryan. That's bad, but it's recoverable. Okay, morale is falling for that guy. He didn't go to Overwatch. It's good. Only have a pistol on him. You missed. Ah, uh, you're not supposed to miss. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it like this. And that's a mission, I think. Yes, we lost one. That's acceptable. But we killed ten. Teams are standing by. Holy shoot, these missions are rough. And you will see something else. They will also have a long recovery from this. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. Thank you for welcoming me. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our yes, field operations. Yes, we've heard this before. Okay, so... These two guys were gravely wounded. They're out for 20 days.
Okay, so Mbatha here was promoted to weapons. We can either give him suppression or firing a ro oh, fire rocket. I think suppression is gonna be the first I get because pinning down is useful. And then I got a scout sniper. Uh, lightning reflexes, definitely. Um, Commander, yep, yeah, lightning flight. reflexes. Commander, I like lightning reflexes. Flies. Scouts are excellent. Okay, so we got some melt, uh, some weapon fragments, we'll a drone wreck, and some sectoid corpses. Okay, let's just quickly, quickly skip through the uh, Every different the is going talks here. Okay, um, so we, we don't have any requests. The gray market says we can sell some stuff. Um, don't want to sell off anything right now. Finances says we get 660 Command next month. That's going to change. We have 31 days to the first report, so um, we're going to start the first research. Um, I don't know the research tree. We're going to start with xenobiology. No, we're going to start with weaponry. That's 18 days, but... I agree. That does seem to be the most pressing of our current research options. Yes. We'll begin immediately. We will say that no matter what. Okay, so this is not too bad. Um, we're gonna have to excavate that and build an axis lift. Costs a lot, but we'll do it. Um, I will dedicate this area up here to uh, satellite uplinks. That means we're gonna have to wait a few days before we can start building stuff. That's gonna set us back a little bit, but we have to. Uh, although I could build a lab here. No, because this is gonna be my power area for sure. Um, we're gonna have to wait for that to be done. Um, let's take a look at the soldiers. We do have quite a lot of soldiers. That's good, because we're gonna lose them. <laughs> um... We're gonna lose a lot of them. Oh my, the willpower of these guys. Uh, okay. Right, so this is the end of the first episode of XCOM. Long War. You can now use, by the way, F1, F2, F3, F4, 5, 6, and 7. to get to the different locations. That's kind of cool. I can still spin it manually, though. It's a big ocean there. Okay. I think I'm gonna round this off here. Seven days to the axis lift. Um, let's just take a look here. Yeah, we're gonna have to excavate for this as well. Um, one thing that I will buy straight off, though... Um, Commander, two our satellites. satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. We should build additional Two. uplinks as soon as possible. We need to, to build more of them. We also should build a shiv. We might as well build two of them. They're good. What's the auto loader for? Extra ammo for them, basically. Uh, I'm gonna be careful with the money. Uh, we'll go for the sword off, I think, later. Um, but we need the shifts for extra... Uh, well, they need to be meat shields. Anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you next time. Remember, if you do want a soldier in this playthrough, post a comment. And as always, do comment, like, subscribe, give me feedback, give me tips, and uh, I will do my best to listen to what you say. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.